Generic greetings, and welcome to Blade Runner 9732 on 9732 if you prefer. This is an attempt to faithfully recreate Rick Deckard's apartment from the film Blade Runner, a film I rate highly, as well as its sequel 2049, incidentally. Now, it's a fun-made project that someone's put together, and it's also very niche because essentially it's just you wandering around an apartment from a film that you may or may not have seen with absolutely no gameplay to speak of whatsoever. So it's got no mass market appeal at all, but it was never supposed to. It was supposed to be for fans like myself and hopefully yourself that really like the film, like the world and just want to experience that for a while so in that case it truly excels. However, as of the time recording sadly it's no longer available so I wanted to make this video sort of for posterity to show you that A the game exists and B it was really good and accomplishes what it set out to do which is just give you a feel of the world and allows you to experience and live in that for a while. So I'm going to do a standard walk around and then I'm going to do some VR. The VR is certainly the way to play it but it doesn't record as well which is why I'm going to do it second. So either way let's just jump in and I'll show you a bit of the game. We could call it a game but in reality it's an experience. Like I so say you can press a couple of buttons and that's about it. It's mainly about uh, just being in the world. So we'll load up and uh, we'll see what it's like. Today's exploration beverage is uh, a nice bit of Johnny Walker Black Label. It's not a cup of tea. <laughs> Be more accurate if it was Johnny Walker Black Label. Voice print identification. Your floor number, please. Decker 97. 97, thank you. Hmm. Even uses a bit of audio from the film. So this is LA November uh, 2019. Maybe uh, it... Uh, Maybe it's been taken down because of that. Apparently there has been a copyright uh, complaint on the uh, on the game, which is why it's been uh, removed. Um, I've still got it on my Steam list, but I don't know how long it's going to last, which is why I wanted to uh, make this video as soon as possible. But yeah, apparently it's not from Warner Brothers, the IP holders either, so I don't know what's going on there. Either way, as you can see, we, uh, we've we come up the elevator and we'll go on to uh, Deckard's floor. I say it's uh, 9732 because it's floor 97, apartment 32, I believe. Uh, but these ones apparently don't have numbers on. We've got a flashlight and we can turn that on and have a wander about and um we can't do any break and entering which is good because we are police or are we police we were supposed to be retired actually can we use the term retired because that does mean something completely different in blade runner terms anyway <laughs> um we'll have a wander around as you can see oh you can even look down there as well i i have seen the film many times and i think the apartment is one of the best things to recreate because well that and the, that that and that and the scene with Rachel and Tyrell uh, in the pyramid that's probably those two scenes are probably the most iconic I think and it does get the um, the feel of the world across like as in we've got the new on top of the old it's very art deco inspired well I don't know if art deco or sort of aztec -y type stuff here Either way, um, I call it Aztec type stuff. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it, yeah. Either way, let's have a wander in his apartment. So we'll open it up and ah, Ridley Scott harsh lighting and uh, some like some sort of lens, not lens flare, some uh, volumetrics as well as some. Uh, why can't we close it off? There we go. So we have got some uh, Ridley Scott going on here. So we have got harsh lighting. We got uh, some bit of lens flare. That's more accurate to Blade Runner. Uh, we got uh, probably some smoke in there. Uh, is there any smoke in there? Uh, yeah, it's a bit smoky and dusty. Yeah, definitely right. Okay, so come in immediately. As you can see, we've got um, paintings on the on the side for some reason. Uh, very very harsh stonework. By the way, I'm tr I'm trying to not do um, a, a view of the. Uh, I'm trying to not rate the apartment out of ten or anything. We're not we're not playing The Sims. It's just uh, you know you have to come and do it on something, right? Anyway, so there's his. Um, I was gonna call it a dusty, but it's not. It's his trench coat. I wonder if his blast is inside it. Uh, no, mate, no, don't. Actually, it's not because I know where it is. It's there, which I've not actually picked up in VR yet, so I'll try that one. Either way, apparently he stores his crates in this corner here. It's actually a very large apartment. I'm very surprised. Um, this is, well, that, that's a very nice lamp. I do like that. Very, very nice color. In fact, it looks like a salt lamp. Yeah, pretty good. Maybe it's been mined from Rainbow Six Siege. Anyway, so that's where we always go to mine salt. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, very, very harsh lighting. Uh, very well. Big contrast, light and dark. There you go. But uh, very, very pretty. So, obviously, straight away, got the piano. We'll lay our head on the side, and then we'll think of unicorns. But we can also turn it on. Nice. Cool. I've also got uh, some photos. And I should know who that is. Because I have seen that photo before. I just can't think of it. That looks like a hat, but it's a globe, like satin or something. Uh, metronome and his blaster, which I cannot pick up, sadly. Can I get it? No, can't pick it up. Okay, so we'll wander around to the right. Ah, there we go. There's your volumetrics. Look at that streaming in the blinds. And you can see all of the, like, the particles of dust and a uh, bit of smoke. So, yeah, 
Yep, nailed that one. Well done. Uh, also, I think the guy does have a problem. There's a lot of Johnny Walker Black Label around here. Other spirits are available because um, he does have a lot of spirits. There's one there. So there's a one, two, um, three. Uh, there's an empty square glass there. Uh, where else have we got some spirits? Four, five. We'll check out the spirit cabinet. Six, seven, eight. Good grief. Nine. <laughs> Uh, and oh, oh, heresy! That says Pepsi. What? I'm, I'm, I'm sure it says enjoy Coca-Cola outside. At least it does in the film. But as you can see, Blade Runner, um, it's got this uh, like old, it's all old stuff with new stuff plonked on the top. That's what it, it. It's got that layering feel, and I do like this. For some reason, I like this really low ceiling. It's very cosy. I mean, this place does seem to be a fairly cosy thing. I, I mean, the floor looks really cold, which is why he's probably got carpet all over the place. He's, he's got these rugs everywhere. Anyway, on the central console, we've got um, some more of his um, beverages, as well as uh, we've got this. Ah, oh, this is the this is the machine where it can zoom in, like an you know, enhance, enhance, enhance. I think that's the, the machine. Let's have a look. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it is there. Maybe that, you know, enhance 34, 17. Beep, 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 beep. I wonder if it's going to do that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's going to keep going. We'll turn that off for now. Okay, so we've got more drinks cabinets. We've got another salt lamp. Very nice, that lamp. And that chair, it looks cosy, but I don't know why the light's there. You'd get a tan on your back, and I'm not really too sure I want that. <laughs> but I do like that that uh, that sofa. That's very, very nice. But uh, is that a bonsai tree? Yeah, looks like, looks like. So, more books, more table. More bloom. That's always good. More booze. Because, of course, there's going to be booze. Ah, animals. Animals. I wonder if we can find some origami pictures. Uh, origami um, animals around the place. Was it... Um, Gaff? Griff? Gaff? I think it's Gaff. Edward James Olmos. Yeah. Anyway, I'll have a wander in his kitchen. Um, and I think there's one of the scenes where he goes in and the light slowly goes up, and that was very, very good. Um, that boiler looks pretty much like mine. Sounds like a hippo giving birth when it's on. Uh, that's a really big uh, washing machine. It's on noodle mode, is it? Uh, maybe idle. No, uh, noodle. <laughs> uh, some marble countertops, and it is absolutely hoying it down outside. It's Blade Runner the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Standard British summertime out there. And we've also got, well, got yeah, some prep going on. Eggs, jam, and uh, actually, is it jam? Don't know what it is. Can we see it? And uh, some carrot. There you go. And obviously, more booze, more milk. That doesn't seem to sit right. I don't know if that was in the film. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have another wander around. So, this is. Uh, I really can't remember for a start who that is. I do re recognise it. Was it from the film or is that like a famous actress that I should know? Anyway, um, I can't remember the exact layout of the of the, of the I was going to call it the flat, the apartment. I really can't remember the exact layout, but uh, in this case we'll go over to we'll go down here and there's multiple places. Uh, you can close the blinds if you really want to. Like that, which obviously we don't. It's actually, I wonder if does it alter the lighting in here? I don't know if it makes it darker or not. I'm not sure. Either way, we've got some spinners going around. I think it was a car. It was a spinner that just came across, like a police car. Um, we've got... That's the balcony. Um, can we get up to the balcony, actually? I'm guessing we can. Uh, to our right, we've got... I don't know why that's there. Like a CB radio and a TV screen stuck to the ceiling. Uh, what's he been reading? Uh, National Geographic, making robots human. Well, since since um, I was going to call them since, but that's uh, okay. Since uh, since um, 
uh, replicants are, you know, not like that. Uh, I think that's a little bit old reading material. Anyway, no B day. Yep, no B day, no use. Actually, maybe one of the buttons is for that. We'll never know. Actually, I'll try and press the buttons. Hang on, because we'll never, never. No, no, we can't try that. We might try that in VR, VR though. Uh, we've got his bathroom in here. Of course, it's where he keeps his uh, <laughs> more spirit. I think the guy brushes his teeth with it. Uh, quite honestly, it, it is probably the case. What does what does he say in uh, 2049? Do you want some whiskey? I've got bottles, bottles and bottles of whiskey. <laughs> um, yeah, more dirt on my eyes, which is strange. And yeah, it's fairly, that, that's a big bath. That's a very big bath. I mean, this place does look nice. I think this would be a nice place to live, assuming the neighbours weren't absolutely garbage and... Oh, my good grief. Maybe not that there. Um, and the bedroom, which I can't remember seeing in the film. I assume it was in. The film is so dark anyway, you might not see any of it. There's some more spirit. You know, it, it, at least have at least uh, 30 units of alcohol in each room, I think. There's a, there's a, there's a minimum. And there's the Blade Runner. Oh, there's, a, there's, there's the blaster disassembled into its component parts. Wow, that's some detail there. That's really, really nice. The Blade Runner Blaster, there was multiple ones made. I'm pretty sure uh, one of them did fire as well, fired blanks. Uh, Adam Savage on uh, Tested did loads of uh, videos on it and stuff because he, he's a really big fan of that sort of thing. Uh, we've got some um, server stacks for some reason in the corner, although, to be fair, the way the world's portrayed, that probably just runs the, uh, the heating or something. Um, it's, uh, it's the future via the 80s. Anyway, we've seen one of those in the other room. I don't know what it is. Some sort of console. Um, headboard. Really, right, you don't whack your head on the corner of that. Ow, that would hurt. Vid phone. Yeah, vid phone. No messages. And, oh, we can't go. Nice. <laughs> oh, we've even got the uh, Angela soundtrack going on as well. Yeah, look, enjoy Coca-Cola. There it is. All the beverages are available. And there's the spinner. Nice. Oh, what a soundtrack. Yep. Congratulations, mate. I uh, think you succeeded in making a good experience of Blade Runner. Well done. Seven floors up? Maybe. There's the spinner going. <laughs> cool. And yeah, that is a little bit of uh, the apartment. Actually, that is the apartment. Quite a large one. When you go back in, the music stops. <laughs> yeah, it's a fairly. It's, it's a lot bigger than I thought the apartment would be. It really is. It really is. Anyway. Um, so we've counted all of the boos, I think. Maybe that's a, that's a, that's probably achievements. Uh, we've uh, we've you know we've we've pressed some buttons and stuff, but that is basically the the overall experience. Yeah, it totally nails the theme of it. it really does. You, you've got like the even down to like the particles of dust and things like that. The uh, the light shafts, um, the the high contrast between light and dark. You know, very very sharp uh, lighting and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think that's uh, time well spent. Time well spent. Anyway, I'm going to jump into VR and show you a bit of that. So we'll move over to that in three, two, one, and click. Okay, and welcome to the VR mode. Now, a couple of things before we begin. This is built for the HTC Vive. I'm obviously using the Oculus Rift with touch controllers. It does work, but there are some issues here and there. But for the most part, works perfectly well. Um, also, this is definitely the preferred mode to actually play this in personally. Um, not just because it is better, because, well, it just is better in the VR mode, but also the recording that you're seeing is, well, you'll notice there's lots of jaggies, there's lots of, uh, it, it seems lower res than it actually is, and I don't know whether that's just my recording setup or whatever, but, um, it, trust me, it's a lot better actually experiencing than you're seeing, but I, I wanted to just document both. But either way, we can pick up the Blade Runner Blaster, and if memory serves, this is going to be loud. <laughs> ah, that's loud. <laughs> 
yeah that is very very loud so we're gonna load up and then uh, yeah we'll have a wander around the apartment so there's two ways of moving oh here we go Deck 97. And we'll be in the elevator. Yes, we are in the elevator. Okay, there's a couple of ways of moving around. Um, well, actually, I'll show you the uh, buttons. So, that one's help. Uh, we've got teleport slash walk. On this one, we've got um, help, which we can turn on and off. We've got activate, which is the trigger. That's the um, the index finger. And then you've got the sort of middle for uh, grabbing. And you've also got a torch, which I think is fantastic as well. So we can shine that around. So two ways moving, hold down this button and then let go and it teleports you. Or if you really want to, you can do that, which is hold it down and go to the right. And it does this sort of walk thing, which is really disconcerting in VR. They always are. And there we go. Nice little Ming vase there. Don't know if it's that, but hey ho. And we'll teleport over there. And um, I wonder if we can look over the... Yep, that is definitely downward <laughs> i don't know if that's supposed to be storage error or something i don't really know what's that supposed to be anyway i always assumed that was like an outside bit but hey ho who knows i'll have a wander around here now oh yeah i was gonna say the game ah behind the curtain we go there's nothing there look i mean look at that it shows you how um <laughs> how much contrast there is wow that is really peeling back the curtain <laughs> yeah the thing is there's not much game in this game but i, I really don't care for it Ooh, that's the wrong button um i just like the experience of this and it is fantastic in this view um but you know what you could where are you going oh that's right for some reason the um i don't know if it's unintentional but um the vibe seems to want to turn me the other way so this is now back, and since I'm only using two sensors, one about there and the other about there, sometimes when I face the opposite way, it gets confused because it can't detect these, which is why they move. I should really get a third one. It doesn't it, The Rift doesn't do room scale as good as the uh, as the Vive, apparently. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll, uh, we'll open the door. As I was saying, um, the... The thing about the game is, or this game is, it's just an experience in wandering around, which is fantastic in itself. But you can easily turn this into a detective game where you have to find things with the torch. And I think there is certain things to find. Anyway, we'll close that door up and just realize how big that door is. That's really, really wide. Anyway, so first time in this, in this um, atrium here, we'll have a little walk over to this. I will be using teleport uh, as well. I'm just having a, a wander over. And yeah, these these really pop. All of these uh, sort of tiles pop. But I've just realised as well that um, obviously they look really cool from there. But as you get side on, they are actually just a texture. I didn't know. I thought they were modelled that way, but it's not. It's um, bumped out. Anyway, so we'll have a go through the guy's pockets because you know we're breaking into his apartment. We might as well. Uh, no, nothing in there. Okay, so we'll have a wander over here to the salt lap, and it just feels warm. Yeah, that, that's blowing that out, out of proportion. A lovely orange, orange glow. And I mean, you can even see like the dirt on my eyes. Strange. Anyway. So, oh, that's a nice view. There we go. So, um, immediately you get a better sense of scale in, in here. Because, I mean, this is probably, that, that there, that's probably a seven foot ceiling. Somewhere like that. Yeah, I think this is like a seven foot. Uh, five it yeah that's about a seven foot um but up there i mean come on that's a that's a hell of a ceiling don't know how you get that in though <laughs> how you get a full-size piano in i have no idea and i've just noticed um i was going to say i've just noticed that when you walk across the floor you can hear the footsteps change as you go from the tile to the to the carpet again that level of detail fantastic and uh yes you can Happily go over to um, say there and go. We do chopsticks. Uh. No, not not the old enough. Uh, turn on the piano if we really want to, and pick up glasses. Is there a picture of Rachel anywhere? Let's see. Uh, and the gun, which um, I'm guessing is going to be very, very, very loud. <laughs> ah! 
Ow! How about this side? <laughs> Loud. <laughs> Loud. <laughs> Louder! Okay, that's just going back there. Uh, on the piano that I'm guessing is about 40% proof now by the amount of spillages it's probably had known have been Decker's apartment, so we'll have a wander over there. And uh, you're getting some nice light shafts there. Very, very nice indeed. Have a proper spin round, you can see, while streaming through. And just the particles, this is what makes it. These little particles that obviously are by yourself all just flat, but yeah. <laughs> You can smell the Johnny Walker and asbestos. Lovely. Okay, spitting Johnny Walker. There it is there. Yeah, you can actually pick it up and move it about if you really want to. Uh, a lot of this stuff you can't interact with, but, you know, you can uh, you can get well up close. Trustworthy paper documents, apparently. Laura Mipsum. That's a well-worn, uh... Well, it looks like the carcass of a walrus, but, I mean, it could be a... could be a track tie for all I know. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Oh, mirror. No, not a mirror! Um... Vinyl! Old media. What? SL7. Pepsi bottle. All these mixes, all the vinyl records, which I didn't notice before, actually. Walk over there. Bonsai tree again. Other things. We'll have a. We'll probably have a look over. I don't know. Over here. Console looks bigger in this mode. More rubbish. You should really get a cleaner. I think you can afford it. Hmm. Well, that's the least of his problems, to be fair. Let's see if we can turn this on and have a look. So we'll sit on the couch, shall we? <sighs> Enough squatting. Oh, hold me back. Right, okay. So, yeah. That looks cool. It looks a, it looks a lot chunkier. In VR as well, and you can see a lot more of the detail. Mainly because you can just move your head around in bits, bits and things like that. As I said, you're seeing it a bit more zoomed in than it actually is, so it uh, is going to range from um, mildly annoying to god awfully unwatchable. And um, I don't know why there's two altimeters on the side from an old Spitfire or something, but hey ho. Um, we'll have a walk through the machine. Oh, actually, actually, we haven't even looked at the back. I mean, look at the detail in the back! I mean, I don't even know if these this was even shown. I really don't know. But I'm guessing he's poured over the the scenes, you know, thousands of times to get the, the right level of detail. Oh, look at that. Just look at the that there. Should the volumetrics be so lovely. Um, we'll have a look at the salt lamp. Oh, well... Half a job, Harry. Eee, look at that. It hasn't even put a bulb in it. Now I know why it's been pulled from Steam. I mean, look at that. Literally unplayable. Refund. I mean, it didn't cost anything. It's free. Um, which is even an an another reason why the hell it pulled it. The guy's not making any money off it. No, it's, doing, it's just giving more exposure to it. So, I have no idea. And um, there's a, a mirror. I mean, that's just a big chunk of granite. I mean, look at the reflections in it. Lovely. Right, we'll have a look at his kitchen. First thing I notice is the ambient. Well, the first thing I notice is the spinner going past. Uh, is the ambient. I mean, I can hear the the aircon and stuff like that and washing outside, but in here, you've got you've got the stove boiling away. You've got this doing things, and these lights, which I don't know if they're supposed to drop down, but they do look like, um... Yeah, they, they, they do look like a bit of drainage pipe with a ball on the bottom. And there's the police car keep going past the spinner. We'll, um, close them blinds. <laughs> so again, most of this you can't interact with. Um, it would be nice to be able to open the drawers and stuff like that, but because it's not, not about that. I mean, look at that! Look at the detail and the reflections on it. 
amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay. Go back there. I can go there. We'll have a over here. So we've got knife. Yeah, that works. You have to always have to give it a good stab in motion to make sure it feels right in the hand. Um, can't chop a carrot, can't crack an egg, but we do have bolognese sauce. Very nice. Don't know what sort of meal he's making. Yep, that's hot. Boiler again, and a huge washing machine. The scale of that washing machine. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah, still that looks at, that still does look out of place. I don't know if that's in the film like that, but I don't know. It's a bit too shiny. Should have more grease on it or something. Yeah, and you can hear the foot hear the footstep difference. We're not in there actually, but you have to walk on the rug. And bang! <laughs> Is it <laughs> you take your eye out? Near the carpet, you see? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have a look over there. Actually, I've just noticed this fog there. That's not fog, that's volumetric. That, yeah, that's cool. And yes, we will be going out there. There you go. Actually, what I'll do is I'll stick my head through this so you can see a, a better view of it. Um, that's the the thing I was mentioning about the, the Blade Runner, the old and the new. So there's some like new pipes stuck on top of this building. And I don't know what that dome's all around, all about. It is all around. And there's the spinner again. <laughs> cool. Right, we'll have a wonder over here. It's a really big apartment. Ha I would happily live here. No problem at all. Couple too many... You know, bottles of booze for my liking, but hey ho. I mean, you know, partial the odd beverage, but still. Not what I can't pick up that though. Oh well, just have to drink it straight from the bottle. <laughs> okay, so I've just realised the sound's not here. Completely silent. Need some plumbing there. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Um, huge bath again and a shower. I mean, that's more of a hot tub than a bath, to be quite honest with you. Or maybe I'm not tall enough. Maybe this is like a... Maybe it hasn't altered my height properly, I don't know. It seems to have altered my height properly. Obviously really dark there. Doing some light painting. I did say I was going to try it. Nah. Nah. Can't use the toilet. Unplayable. Uh... Can't close the door either. Nice brass or bronze fittings there. Nothing up there. Can't open that. No reflection either. No reflection. So either a vampire or... Or, well, just... Can't put it on. Okay. What's that supposed to be? Is that a painting? Oh, it is. It's like a charcoal thing, I think. And we'll have a wander in here. This looks. This room looks nice. As I was saying, you could easily make a game, like a detective game, where you're walking around, shining the torch, picking up clues and stuff. I think it's called um, uh, L.A. Noir, actually, VR. <laughs> I haven't played that, because obviously I'm Vive exclusive. So, yeah. They're nice. I don't know why he's using, he's using rocks as a paperweight. To be fair, the guy could just use these as paperweight. He's got enough spares. <laughs> Okay, head over here and oh, look at that. That is astounding. I don't know whether he's modelled the blaster himself or has uh, has downloaded it, but just the detail in the blaster alone is worth the play. I mean, look, even the rivets and the, the screws. Good God. <laughs> That's amazing. That is astounding. I, I've, I'm blown away by the detail and things like that. That's that's great. Okay. Just need to recenter myself. Hang on. I hit my own desk. It certainly won't be the first time. Look at that. Very nice. This looks very good. I like this. These sort of server rack type things.
find myself just wanting to randomly explore like every little nook and cranny and such. And I'd look over there really, so we'll have a look there. Another small version of that fish thing. Very, very nice. Oh, and look at look at that! <laughs> That's the torch that I'm using. And I wonder if it I wonder if actually it does. Wow. I mean look at the detail in that. Casting the shadow from <laughs> There is no words. There are no words. Another vid phone. I mean, even I don't know if I've um, shown it shown it, I think I have, but who models the back of a television in that detail? Someone who is very passionate or a complete madman. Uh, <laughs> there's the outside. Um, by the way, the Blade Runner Blaster, I don't know if I've mentioned it as well. Um, obviously, I don't know whether this has been downloaded or made, but I mean, them parts are great. Yeah, Adam Savage did loads of... Uh, he got, he's got an obsession as well. If you go over to um, the Tested YouTube channel or website, you can see like all of the different bits and bobs that he's done and all, of his vari all the variations in it. It's really cool. Just while we're on the subject. Anyway, we'll take another look at this. Close up look. Look, I mean, oh, look at the reflection. Detail. No, nothing. Even the doily. Look at the way the lights on the doily. <laughs> wow. Okay. There's only one thing left then. Beverage. Wow. Hello. Nice. Is yep, we are definitely on floor 97. Ugh. And there's the spinner. Astounding. Absolutely astounding. I was going to say I've never noticed them big pillars before. I have noticed them several times. I've just not realised they do just look like really big, like dwarven pillars almost. <laughs> like that should be in Moria. I'm pretty sure that's going to, that's using the same, uh, probably using the same stills from Blade Runner and stuff. Obviously the same music as well. But anyway, that has been some Blade Runner. Uh, exploration in the only little bit we might ever get. It's a crying shame that uh, can't get all of it at the moment. I really, truly hope that it's uh, going to be available for all. Even just so the one or two sort of die-hard fans can experience it. And like I say, playing it in non-VR is perfectly acceptable. It's really good. In VR, I could spend hours in this. I'm probably, I am going to spend hours in this. I'm going to go back in the apartment now and I'm going to have another play about because, well, because I can. And quite frankly, this could disappear at any moment. There you go. Been a bit of Blade Runner there. Um, yeah, Quentin, well done, mate. You've uh, you done good. You done good. Worth the uh, the time and effort. Don't even know how much that is, but I'm assuming it's a hell of a lot considering the detail that's gone into it. Either way, that's been a bit of Blade Runner there. Um, links in the description for the website and, the, and if I can find the Steam page, if it's still up, it'll be in there. But certainly for the website, keep an eye on it if you're interested because it might pop up or whatever. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>